How are you, sir? Good, and, good. How are you? And where are you? And how many bottles of wine have you consumed during the quarantine? I decided to go the complete opposite way. I, I, I just stopped. I completely, I haven't had a drink in three weeks. It feels like shit is going to get so weird and people are going to do a bunch of crazy, stupid shit that, and I'm not very smart. So I was like, I should just try to be as smart and as clear as I could possibly be. Congratulations on the 100th episode of this podcast. You know, it's phenomenal. And you've had some amazing guests over the years. Malcolm Gladwell, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Brett Favre. Did you think you'd be this good at it? Because you were very good at hosting this thing. I'm curious by nature. I'll just sit here for an entire day and just read about these people watch old interviews, read old interviews, just dig into their life and make a bunch of notes. How much research did you do for Mia Khalifa in her episode? Well, I would be lying if I didn't say that I didn't do some of that research. You, 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 everybody, we, anyways, we've, so. all, we've all seen her work. Not only are you able to get interesting guests, but you're able to get them to open up in ways that they probably won't do with other people. And mm -hmm. with Mia, that was the case. She's talking about you know, her, her, her trials in the adult film industry and, and, and all the backlash to that. And I think there's a sense of empathy when people talk mm -hmm. to you and a sense of commiseration because, you know, you, you, you've gone through a lot of that and it's all about moving forward. That's why the show is called The Forward. And when people sit across the desk from me, they, you know, they, sort of re they may come in with, I don't want to talk about this, I don't want to talk about that. But then once they get in the room, they're like, all right, this fucking guy's been through everything. You know, he's been through a bunch of stuff, ups and downs. A lot of, you know, most of the downs, if not all, were self-inflicted. And it's just this place where it's like, all right, I'm going to give it up to this dude. I think the biggest fallout from all of this because of the quarantine and it is the right thing to do to stay inside i think the mental health fallout from this i think we have no fucking idea how bad this is going to be people are going to go fucking crazy now that i think about it you know bin laden lived in that house he couldn't go out he was he was quarantined in that house for years true with three wives <laughs> maybe he called the seals i think there's going to be a lot of babies and a lot of divorce, and a lot of Mia Khalifa downloads. Isolate Night with Scott Rogowski, live every night at 9 p.m. Eastern.